Everyone was happy to see Siokao Makatumanda enter her brother's home in Kikambuani, Kangundo. So much so that they broke out in dance and traditional songs celebrating her return. After all, it is not every day that you get to see a sister, an aunt, a cousin, even a relative who disappeared 60 years ago. At the home in Kikambuani, everyone had been waiting for her arrival. They had even prepared a tent for the ceremony. Her brothers and sisters had nothing to say. They were just eager, if not outrightly anxious, to see their sister, who they lost back around 1952. <laughs> When Michael Mutua, the elder brother, saw his sister, he was lost for words. All he could do was embrace her happily. Cabbage, meat stew, githeri and other foods had been prepared to mark her return. Neighbors joined the family in celebrating her comeback as they enjoyed the meal. <laughs> Siokao seemed to enjoy the meal even more, laughing with her sisters and cousins as they shared childhood memories. <laughs> The ceremony began with Siokao dressed in a blue kanga. She was ushered by her sisters. Siokao, who is 64, is doing so to enable her children stay true to culture and avoid making the mistakes she did. Her son, Matthias Makato, says that he decided to pay for her mother's diary because it would have brought bad luck if he didn't. He told of the importance of initial marriage rights, which are viewed as a blessing to both the mother and her children. According to the Kamba tradition, one has to bring either three, five or seven goats to legalize the marriage. Matthias presented five goats of which one was slaughtered to symbolize that her marriage was traditionally accepted. After the slaughter of the goat, the traditional brew Kaluvu was shared by old men from her clan who gave her and her family their blessings. She says religion is the key to a strong marriage. First, trust in God and believe in him and when temptations come your way, pray. Culture is something that one cannot shy away from. Through Siokao's marriage ceremony, her children are now free to pay bride price and marry. For News at 8, I'm Rada Odiambo.